So the next part of the question, part B, that's what well, we've just finished part A, part B deals with what happens if you now replace in the opening the focal, um, a converging lens that is two centimeters in diameter, it just fits in here. So remember our symbol of a converging lens was this double arrow symbol. Squeeze my lens in here. Now all lenses have a focal length as well. This one was given as a focal length of um, three centimeters. So remember, the lamp was three centimeters in front. So the focal length of that would be F exactly in this point. And just for completeness, I can put the F in here as well. So my uh, lens is now here, two focal points, and my lamp. Now, how do the light beams travel? Well, from the lamp, they go again in all different directions, including ones that travel and hit, again, the barrier. So nothing new there. Then we can pick out again this one that just for the first time hits not the barrier, but the top of the lens. We've got again beams as well that hit the lens like that. Now remember what we said, if you have light beams originating from a focal point of a converging lens, they spread out, hit the lens, and now they get the direction change, and they'll now travel parallel to the optical axis. So this one just hits the top, now travels parallel to the optical axis. Again, from the focal point coming, hitting the top of the lens, traveling parallel to the optical axis. These do the same thing. So they are now illuminate a different part on the side. If I do this, you'll now have this bit illuminated. Now this patch on the sample is only two centimeters wide, exactly as wide as the lens. I've placed my um, lamp in the focal point. That's why this happens. All the light beams come out, either get swallowed or hit the lens. If they hit the lens, they come from the focal point and get turned into parallel light beams. 